In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of December the 5th, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that hour, the Lord Jesus became in great joy in the Holy Spirit and said, I confess you, I agree with you, Father, Lord of heavens and the earth, because you have revealed this, because you have kept this from the wise and the learned, but has revealed this for those who are like children. Yes, Father, because that has become your happiness before you. And turning to his disciples, he said, Everything has been given to me by my Father, and no one knows who is the Son except the Father. And who is the Father, except the Son, and whoever the Son wants to reveal to? And then, turning toward his disciples in private, he told, he said, Blessed the eyes that look what you look, because I tell you, that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and did not see, and wanted to hear what you hear and did not hear. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, forgive me for the lack of words. While I was doing my lexio, I was amazed at this word, eshomologume, it's not only I confess, I agree totally, I give you thanks, I give you praise. That's what the Lord is saying, all of that, in one word. First of all, let me explain to you that this particular gospel is perhaps one of the most dear to me. It tells us about the gift of God, the Holy Spirit. And it reveals to us that the Son of Man became greatly joyful, moved by the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit made him and can make us know the heart of the Father, of his Father. That is why he became so happy. He realized that the Father wanted to keep the incarnation of his Son from the wise and the learned. It is not by knowledge, it is not by uh, rational decision that you become a Christian. Rather, as Cardinal Ratzinger wrote, it is the encountering, the encounter with a person, a human and divine person, that renders us Christians with faith. And that is why the Lord says, you reveal that to the ones that are like children. For it is meta-rational. It is above our own reason to be able to believe that God became man, that God incarnated himself. He did not have a need, but he wanted to share with us, to love us more, and to enable us to love him. So that is why he became so close of our own flesh and blood of our own lineage. The Lord says, no one, for first he says, everything has been given to me by my Father. And that is such a revelation, because God saw fit to give the entire authority to him, to the Son made flesh. And that human being, is in the Holy Trinity nowadays, forever living. 
expecting you and me to come to his kingdom. Nobody knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son and whoever the Son pleases to reveal to. So he's telling all the Jews that they do not know the God, the Father, even though they claim they did, and everyone else. If you want to know God, you need to know Jesus. There is no other way. And telling his disciples these beautiful things. So many people wanted to see what you see. What were they saying? What were they seeing? They were seeing God among us, the Emmanuel. What joy must have been for the disciples to watch him. Just as John wrote in his letter, in his epistle, what we saw, what we touched with our hands. And he could go on saying what we heard with our ears, what we smelled with our nose, whom we kissed with our mouths. <laughs> that joy is not something that just went away 2,000 years ago. That joy is for you and me to gain by the mercy of God and our full cooperation. For he, the Lord, invites us, he who is alive, to enter into the kingdom as long as we can become like children and remain faithful. May the strength of God descend on all of you and myself. May we pray for each other and be led willingly into the kingdom. May the Lord be with you. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.